What's up, YouTube family? Today, we're gonna to be going over six crypto gaming coins that I think have a lot of upside potential. Now, some of these coins have already gone up thousands of percent over the last couple of years, but a lot of them in the last 90 days, last three months, have been dropping a ton, which could mean that this is a really great buying opportunity. So yeah, in this video, we're going over six games. I'll be explaining to you why I am bullish on each of these six metaverse coins, why I think they have upside potential, and then also covering a little bit of the bear case as well so that you guys can get both sides of each coin so if that sounds good to you remember to drop a big thumbs up on this video hit subscribe if you're not subscribed already click that notification bell so that you don't miss any future content and let's get into it So quickly, before we get into these six coins, I wanna give a little bit of background to catch those of you guys who are new to the metaverse up to speed with all the rest of us so that you can understand all the words and stuff that I'm using. But if you've been watching this channel for a while and you already know all this stuff, feel free to use the timestamps below to skip ahead to the first coin. Three terms that you guys need to understand to understand why this metaverse gaming, crypto gaming revolution is even cool. So the first term that you guys need to understand is blockchain. Now blockchain, very simply just is the public ledger that we see who owns stuff on. You can think of it like a Google Doc that literally anyone in the entire world can look at. But in order for anything to change on this Google Doc or on the blockchain, validators need to confirm that it's a legitimate transaction and then ownership actually transfers. And anything that you own can be seen by anyone else on this public ledger. Anytime that you sell or buy anything, it can also be seen on this public ledger. So essentially the blockchain just enables real verifiable ownership on the internet for the first time and it's really cool the second term that you need to understand is cryptocurrency and cryptos are what we're talking about in this video but essentially it just means the money or the currency that is in whatever game world that you're participating in so for mirandus for example materium which we're going to be talking about in this video is a cryptocurrency and essentially that just means it is the currency of the game but it's a real currency that can be exchanged for US dollar and you can pay your rent with it, which is super, super awesome. And cryptocurrencies run on the blockchain and their ownership is verified through the blockchain. So then the third and final term that we need to understand, which is also something built on the blockchain is NFT. Now an NFT just stands for non-fungible token, which sounds really confusing. All you guys need to know for the purpose of this video is that when I say NFT, I just mean anything, a thing in the metaverse that you actually own. And yeah, it can represent anything Anything from a sword in a game to a character uh, to even like a house in real life could be an NFT. So an NFT is just a, th a thing in the metaverse. So there you guys go. You're all caught up with everything that you need to know. Now let's get into these six coins. So I'm not going to be talking about these six coins in any particular order. So let's just jump in at number six with the sandbox. Now the sandbox coin ticker is SAND, S-A-N-D. And SAND is the currency that exists inside the sandbox metaverse. Now, now, for those of you guys who do not know what the sandbox is, I actually just recently made a full overview recap of the sandbox that I highly recommend you guys check out if you want to dive more into the sandbox world and understand why it's such a cool game. But just for a quick recap, the sandbox is a metaverse very similar to Roblox or Minecraft, where players can come in and build their own gaming experiences if they own the land. And because the sandbox has a limited total supply of land, there has been a a big land rush for land in the sandbox as well. But I think that the coin and that sand itself has a lot of upside potential as well. Now, if we look at this 90 day chart, you can see that sand just three months ago was only 77 cents. And now even after a big pullback, it is all the way up at $4 and 40 cents. But yeah, we can see in the high, it actually peaked at over $8. So it's almost down 50% from its peak. And because the sandbox and the metaverse as a whole is just gonna continue to get more and more buzz this year and next year, I think that we're gonna see a lot of price appreciation in sand as well. Now, sand is already worth $4.3 billion. That is the market cap, uh, but 
Compared to something like Ethereum or even Solana, it's really not much at all yet. And I think that the Sandbox is actually a very cool game with a ton of potential. And I think that this will be a big metaverse with a very big economy going forward. And it's definitely a coin that you might want to have in your bag. Now, before we jump to number five, I should uh, note here that I am not a financial advisor and none of this is financial advice. I'm just sharing my own research and opinions based on what I've been looking into trying to find find good coins to buy myself and also interviewing a lot of like the CEOs and people literally building these metaverses kind of an advantage that I get uh, as a YouTuber. But yeah, these are just my opinions. Do your own research. And uh, definitely most of these coins, you can find a lot more about the games uh, that the coins are connected to on this channel on Chain Gaming. So definitely check out some of my other content uh, if you'd like to further your research. The next coin that we're going to talk about on this list is Townstar coin. Uh, ticker symbol T O N W Town. Now, Town Coin is a coin for the game Town Star by Gala Games. And uh, Town Star has actually been picking up in popularity quite a bit recently because they added the daily quest, which allows you to earn Town Daily. And if we look at the price of Town Coin, you can see that it spiked way over $2 at about $2.25. And now it's all the way down to about 50 cents. Uh, actually, 61 cents now. That's pretty good. And uh, yeah, you can see that Towncoin, I mean, compared to uh, over $2 is down quite a lot. And I think that this game's popularity is just going to continue to increase. So the question is really just about the tokenomics of Towncoin. Is there enough incentive for people who are earning this coin to want to keep it or reinvest it into new NFTs rather than just sell it on the marketplace? Now, unlike Axie Infinity's SLP, uh, Town Coin does have a max supply, I believe, and it's going to also have a slow decrease in inflation over time. So a lot of these things should cause Town Coin's uh, price to be sustainable a little bit more than SLP. But honestly, we don't really know what the price is going to do in the short term. Um, it's possible that because Town Coin is so new that we're still a little bit in price discovery phase. I mean, if we look on CoinGecko, I literally can't even see what the current market cap of TownCoin is. It's a big old question mark. Although you can look at what the total supply is. So I guess the total supply is 7.2 million and the price is 62 cents. So that's a little bit easy math here. Let's figure out what the current market cap of TownCoin is. So we have uh, 62 cents times 7.2 million is a total market cap of 4.5 million about. So that's still a very, very, very cheap coin. Um, but remember, more and more town is getting introduced every day as people play the quest. And yeah, we could see town coin uh, run up to 10 bucks. We can see it drop to 30 cents. Who knows? Uh, but I am very bullish in general on Gala Games. I know that they're gonna to continue to support this game. I know this game's popularity is gonna to continue to increase and I know they move really quick. So I have a good feeling about Towncoin and I personally have been earning a lot playing Townstar every day as I just uh, announced in a recent video which you can check out. Um, and I am personally holding my Towncoin. I'm earning it and holding it. I'm not selling it because I think uh, that yeah, it still has a lot of uptime, especially, especially it has a lot of upside at only four and a half million dollar uh, total market cap. So a very interesting coin that you guys should definitely keep an eye on. So now let's move from number five to number four. Once again, these are in no particular order, although they are all coins that I think have a lot of potential upside. So coming in at number four is Star Atlas DAO and uh, Star Atlas, uh, DAO, its ticker is Polis, P-O-L-I-S. And uh, one really interesting thing about Polis is that it is a lot less valuable than its sister coin, Atlas. And I think the reason is when people search Star Atlas, they see Atlas coin and they're like, oh, this is the Atlas coin. And that's the one that, that the general public kind of just initially is attracted to. Polis is a little bit more out there. It's harder to understand what it is. Star Atlas DAO, what's Star Atlas DAO? That doesn't make sense. I'm just gonna buy Star Atlas coin called Atlas. But the Star Atlas DAO pretty much has like almost the same exact 
tokenomics of Atlas coin. So Polis, pretty much the same tokenomics as Atlas, uh, but Polis is actually the governance coin for Star Atlas. It's actually gonna give you governance control of the Star Atlas metaverse, which I think makes it a little bit more valuable than Atlas in a lot of different ways. And then the other reason why I recommend buying Polis over Atlas right now is Polis is only $3.93, whereas Atlas is closer to like eight, nine, ten dollars so atlas is about double the price of polis and like i said they have the same exact total supply a lot of the same exact uh tokenomics so pretty much you're buying polis right now for an 85 million dollar uh, market cap but in order to buy atlas you're paying about double that at 160 million dollar market cap so I highly recommend checking out Polis if you guys think that Star Atlas has potential long-term. If we just quickly look at this 90-day chart, you can see that it has been a rough time for Polis recently. It spiked uh, way up almost $12, I think a little over $11, um, and now it's all the way down under four bucks. So there has been a big decrease uh, in the value of Polis. And we should note here that the fully diluted valuation of Polis is quite a bit higher than the current market market cap because the circulating supply of polis right now is only 21 million but the max supply of polis is 360 million so there is a lot of polis that is still going to get introduced to the market so that that would be the bear case for polis uh, quite definitely but i think the bull case for polis is the fact that we're going to start to see some tastes of some Unreal Engine 5 gameplay for Star Atlas. Uh, hopefully we'll get the hangar uh, bay so you can check out your NFT ships in an Unreal Engine 5 hangar uh, this year, which I think will be really cool. But then the full game of Star Atlas, you guys will have noticed Star Atlas wasn't in my top 10 for 2022. That's because the full game for Star Atlas is definitely not coming out in 2022. We have no release dates on the game. And I've actually been trying really hard to get an interview with a developer who's actually developing the Unreal Engine 5 version of the Star Atlas game. And I still haven't been able to get an interview with a Star Atlas uh, developer, which uh, makes me a little bit hesitant to be completely honest, but hopefully that will all get worked out very soon. And you guys will see an interview with a Star Atlas uh, Unreal Engine 5 developer soon, and we can just lay all that to rest and get really bullish on Polis. Uh, but yeah, I am definitely a net buyer, not a net seller of Polis at this time. Um, because I got into the private sale of Star Atlas, um, I'm getting like a little bit of Polis and Atlas. And what I've been doing with that little bit of Polis and Atlas is just selling the Atlas straight into Polis because I'm like, I can get twice as many coins because they're half the price and I actually get governance, which is kind of what I care more about about uh, for Star Atlas is having some governance power there. So yeah, that's what I've been doing. I've been turning Atlas into Polis. And I think that long-term when people start to realize a Polis is the one you want, not Atlas. Although Atlas is cool too. You need to use Atlas to refill your ships and all that stuff. But I've been talking about Star Atlas too much. Let's move on uh, to the next coin. So coming in at number three, once again, guys, uh, in no particular order is a big one called Alluvium, ILV token. Alluvium is coming out this year. Unlike Star Atlas, Alluvium is going to be a big AAA game that is releasing Q1 or Q2 of 2022, and we're in Q1 right now. So we're talking the beta is going to be coming out to the public very soon. It could be only a matter of months. And yeah, the full public release, I expect this year. And if we look at the chart for uh, Alluvium in the last 90 days, you can see it had a big run up to almost $2,000 and is now back below $1,000 again, more than a 50% drop. If we look at the max here, you can see that, yeah, there's just there was a really, really big run up in ILV and now a really big crash. And I think there's a lot of value in ILV. Currently it has a market cap of $500 million with a fully diluted valuation of 7.9 billion dollars because the game is releasing very very soon and i really like the alluvium team um alluvium is one of these coins that i am definitely definitely picking up in this crash and yes things could go lower but they could also launch pad right back to where they were uh, very very quickly so a lot of these coins my strategy is buy some of them if they go lower buy more because i'm bullish long term and if they go higher well then that's just great and i i'm i get to make money so that's kind of my strategy here uh, all right let's get to number two coin is 
a really, really small and new crypto game called Project Quantum. Um, I have done an interview with the founder of Project Quantum, which I highly recommend you guys check out if you wanna learn more about this coin. But yeah, Project Quantum's coin is Qubit, and you can see the current price is 0 0.0018. So it's literally less than a 10th of a cent uh, which is uh, a small price, but if we look at the market cap here, actually, it doesn't even list it uh, here on CoinGecko, and it doesn't tell us the circulating supply, so we literally can't even figure out uh, what the market cap of this coin is. This is just a really new project, but yeah, if we look at the 90-day chart, uh, you can see that we ran all the way up to a half of a tenth of a cent, <laughs> and uh, yeah, now we're, we're way down below that. We've dropped... Uh, a lot. I think that's like three fourths, three fourths of our value or four fifths of our value has gone away in Qubit quite recently. So this is definitely a coin that I'm going to be picking a little bit more up of because I'm very bullish on the Project Quantum project overall. It is going to be a AAA first person shooter metaverse uh, with high stakes, real currency. Obviously we see Qubit here, all of the items and stuff are going to be NFTs, which is really, really awesome. And there's going to be a ton of play to earn opportunities. And I just think this metaverse is going to be very big. Big, and because of that, I love getting into some of these coins super, super early. Uh, but once again, could keep going down. You never know. And if it does keep going down, I'll definitely be buying up uh, more and more. And uh, this one is not on Ethereum like a lot of these other ones. This one's on uh, BNB, Binance. Um, maybe that changes something for you, maybe not. But now let's move to the number one coin. Now, uh, talking about coins that are coming out, like getting in early, uh, this coin is not even officially out yet. They're supposed to be the first drop uh, to players who participated in uh, the Mirandis play test of this coin very soon. So yeah, this coin is Materium. And uh, Materium, is very very cool it looks it looks like really awesome uh so we're currently checking out coinmarketbag.com um they released an article wait it says this article is by on-chain gaming wait a second oh this is my video here what is what is happening okay this whole article is literally a copy paste of my uh of my video description that's that's pretty crazy i guess i just have good tags and stuff right okay there's a source and yeah there's a lot of links to my youtube channel so i'm not going to complain about that but i literally thought this was an article on materium and it's literally just an article of my own video uh, but yeah Gala Games Massive Metaverse launches its first coin. I'm actually gonna be doing a full video on Materium probably right after I'm done recording this one. We don't even know what the ticker symbol of Materium is yet, but this is gonna be one that I think you guys should definitely look out for. Mirandis could be one of the biggest metaverses uh, that comes out, at least the biggest like medieval metaverse uh, that releases its first person. It's gonna be like accessible through mobile, PC, or virtual reality. Um, so there's gonna be a lot of ways to interact with the metaverse. It's gonna be a full player owned economy. Um, but then Materium, the coin, this cryptocurrency, is literally the backbone of the entire world. It is what enables magic. It is what enables crafting. It is what enables teleportation. It is the currency. It is literally everything in the game. And I think that Materium is the most magical currency ever. <laughs> no, it is the most magical currency ever. It's literally magic incarnate. Uh, but yeah, I think Materium has a lot of upside potential. So hopefully you guys enjoyed uh, me going over these six coins in no particular order that I think uh, could be really massive potential upside coins in the crypto gaming space. Once again, I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice, but I'm definitely filling up my own bags uh, with these coins. So uh, we'll see if I'm right or not. Time will tell. But if you guys enjoyed this video going over over some of the coins that I've been looking at in this crypto crash, uh, then remember to drop a big thumbs up on this video as that will help us out a ton in the YouTube algorithm and we really appreciate it. When you guys leave those thumbs up, literally it causes the algorithm to recommend the video to more people. So it's kind of like you're sharing the video and yeah, it's really awesome. And then also, if you just watched this whole video and you're not subscribed yet, what are you doing? Make sure you hit subscribe and click that notification bell so that you do not miss any future content. My name is Jake and this channel, OnChain Gaming, is all about the future 
future of play to earn crypto games, of the metaverse, and just this entire blockchain gaming revolution that is taking place before our eyes. So if you want to stay up to date with that, definitely make sure you're subscribed. You can also follow me on Twitter at Jake. Rowatsky. But I don't make these videos by myself. Nate, my brother, edits every single one of these videos and does an awesome job with that. Josh, our friend, does the original intro and outro music and also runs our second channel, Launching Gaming Clips, which you can check out below. So thank you guys so much for your support. Thank you especially Patreon supporters for supporting us on Patreon and enabling us to make this content. You guys are the real MVPs. And if anyone is interested in supporting us on Patreon, it does unlock our exclusive on-chain gaming Discord channel where you can come and chat with me and ask me questions. So that would be really cool if you guys would support and join us there. But dropping thumbs up is all the support that we really need. So thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, everyone, have fun roaming the metaverse.